There are serious concerns about skyrocketing energy prices and even rolling blackouts coming to Massachusetts as events far beyond our state continue to shake the global markets. What specifically will you do to ensure affordable energy for Massachusetts residents? We'll start with you, Ms. Healy. Well, first of all, I recognize the significant issue this presents for so many residents for our businesses, Adrian. And so I've already gotten to work on this. Uh, my team has already said that we strongly support Governor Baker's efforts with the other New England governors because this is a regional issue to call on the Biden administration for relief. Congress recently acted. There's $40 million that's now coming to the state that importantly will be used to reduce the cost of those energy bills. Second, we are thinking about ways that we can actually reduce payments uh, and, and spread those costs out over time. But fundamentally, this shows, Adrian, you mentioned the global markets. We're all too subject to the wilds of the global markets. And that's why we need to be strong here in Massachusetts. And I do support all the energy alternatives that are out there, including wind, including solar. Also, that's a key economic engine for our state. We can create a climate corridor that stretches the whole state with manufacturing technology innovation already underway here that's gonna create tens of thousands of green paying jobs. But I am working with utilities, I am working with our congressional delegation, I am working with the Baker administration, and as governor, I will work with other governors to bring relief to that's, folks this winter. Time. So. Her solution is a federal bailout to the immediate crisis that she and Joe Biden created by creating a war on fossil fuels and liquid natural gas that comes into Massachusetts that's put us in an energy crunch this winter. Right now, we are facing this. Not even eight years from now when she wants to be completely fossil fuel free and we will not have the renewable energy to produce enough electricity to make sure that we can handle every manufacturer, every home, every vehicle in Massachusetts. That's going to be the requirement. We're tied to California and being completely uh, electric vehicle by 2035. It's an impossibility if we can't generate that electricity, if the grid can't handle it. So she's going to basically ask Washington to use some of the money that they've printed that's creating the inflation and uh, devaluing the dollar in order to bail out New England or Massachusetts because we've decided to take this reckless course of blocking two natural gas pipelines, the cleanest burning fossil fuel that actually will help us right now. Ms. Healy, response. I mean, some of it's just ridiculous. Um, that, but, you know, here, here's where we need to go, Adrian. Yes, I think it's pretty wise and incumbent upon any governor to ask a federal administration to ask Congress for relief when their residents or their businesses are hurting. Governor Baker did that. $40 million is coming that way, this, this way. That said, that's only one of any number of things. I've also called on our current legislature here in the state to use, we talked about surplus funding, to provide relief. You know, imagine a hundred, people are gonna see increases on their bills that are gonna really hurt. And so it matters to me that I can get relief. A hundred dollars off a bill makes a big difference to people in this state. Right. So I'm gonna to continue to be an advocate, to continue to push. Uh, but again, we've gotta we've got to grow our economy not by giving giving everything over to fossil fuels. We're never going to have time, we're never going to have fossil fuel free future if you don't support renewables. We've got to do both at the same time. Totally, Deal. totally support renewables. Look, as we talked about earlier, the state has eight billion now in excess tax revenue. Why do we have to take a single federal dollar to take care of this problem right now? It's a Democrat supermajority in the House and Senate. Why can't you call on them to get this done? And without having to go to the feds to take care of this issue right now, people are hurting right now. So Jen, what is because the, right the program for renewables, what is the right timeline to get entirely to renewables? Yeah, I mean, look, first of all, again, I'm a believer in the free market system of if it's the right, the right product will appear at the right place based on demand. And of course, I think demand is there for renewables, for wind and solar, absolutely. But you've got to deal with the, uh, the production of it. Right now, we're getting a lot of the solar panels from China. That's not exactly, with the supply chain issues, it's not exactly happening in the speed that we need it to happen. Uh, again, there are also permitting issues with the turbines. But my is point there is this. a target date my that you have in mind? I don't have a target date. I have a, I have a date of saying, let's continue to use every energy source in the mix until we can get a reasonable estimate of when it's going to happen, not creating an artificial deadline of when we have to be off of fossil fuel. That's time, Mr. Deal. Ms. Ely, please. <laughs> the reason that Governor Baker reached out to Congress and the Biden administration, and the reason I would as governor is because that was a federal program, Jeff. The LIHEAP program is a federal program. The money has to come from the federal government. But beyond that, you know, there's work we need to do. And 
I have spent as Attorney General a lot of time on energy issues, working on issues around modernization of the grid, transmission lines that we need to build. There's so much that we need to do and work on. But this idea that we should just give up and not pursue things because it's hard uh, is absolutely not where we need to be in Massachusetts. That's... We can be aggressive, we can go out and do this, and I will work in the meantime to provide the relief. But the idea that I created the high cost of energy, uh, there's a war on in Russia and Ukraine. That's not Massachusetts' fault. That's time. And yeah, the, the, just on energy, one go last ahead. thing, if, if we can uh, go through this, is Maury Healy's in favor of bringing back the TCI, Transportation Climate Initiative, which would create a regional unelected board of people that would decide what kind of fuel could be sold in Massachusetts and how much. That, again, is going to restrict and increase the cost of fuel in our state at a time when we are in an energy crisis by doing that, you're going to create more of a problem when it comes to heating our homes or pumping gas in our cars just to get to and from work. That is uh, irresponsible. And also, it shouldn't be an unelected board. It should be uh, people Time, in Massachusetts Mr. deciding their future on energy, not a regional group. Ms. Healy, please. That's wrong. I, n I never said I supported TCI. I have said, though, that programs like TCI or like REGI, which is the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, are important to consider because we're not going to solve this by being Massachusetts alone. We've got to work with the entire Northeast on this issue. That's what it means to be a governor. It means that you're going to have the ability to reach out, work in a bipartisan way with other governors to do what you need to do. And I think that when it comes to energy, and what we're dealing with, that is absolutely the direction we need to go. We absolutely need Janet. to think about this from a regional perspective Janet. as well.